I was born in southern Sweden in a city called Helsingborg. When I was growing up, we ended up moving around a lot from country to country. Uh, when I was two, we moved to Australia and I started school there. And then when I was seven and a half, we moved back to Sweden and were there for one year and I had a year of schooling in Sweden and then after that we whisked over to Japan and lived there for eight years and then we moved back to Sweden when I was 16 uh, and did a few high school years there and finished my high school degree there. I looked like everyone around me for the first time in much of my childhood memories and I spoke the language, but I felt very foreign. I would walk into a bank and they would ask me to write down a number and I couldn't spell it. <laughs> and I would ask them how to spell a certain number and they would look at me really confused because they didn't understand why I couldn't spell something so simple. My sister in the meantime had traveled to the US to do her college years in Minnesota and she wrote to me and said, I think you should try to come here for one year. And I said, well, I'm really going to stay in Sweden now and be Swedish. And she, she called and she said, well, I know you want to stay, but I think you should come here just for one year. And I said, well, no, I, I'm happy to be in Sweden now. And she called again and she said, well, they'll give you a scholarship. I really think you should come just for one year. And so I came. I took one English class and it was, that changed my life. So I, I stayed all three years and did an English literature major. One of the strongest feelings that I have had recently is about roots and family. My mother died in December 2012 and she is buried on the other side of the ocean and I'm the only one over here. And I was very struck at that time and still now by the feeling of being on my own over here. I have my husband, my children, um, but on this continent I'm the only one. Uh, there's an ocean that separates me from the rest of my extended family, from my history, my language, my culture, my background. After completing my teaching license, I ended up teaching at the elementary level for a number of years. Uh, and I then um, had two children and decided to be home with them for a while. Um, at that point, I started teaching a few Swedish classes, first through the American Swedish Institute and, and currently privately. And it was a wonderful discovery of meeting people who had grown up hearing the language and not learning it. In that way, it's been a wonderful opportunity to be part of their language journey uh, and to incorporate everything that I love, the music, the uh, cultural heritage, the language, the um, folklore, the singing, the poetry, all sorts of different aspects. Um, I've been able to bring and share in these language and literature classes.